What defense by Hernandez. Now it's Walton firing away and it rattles home. Gets to the free throw line on every foul. Splash down by Pickett. Today, along with Kelly Broomfield and Jason Alabanza. Walton the other way. I didn't look closely enough. Yeah, I think he was down there because he, he played the first game, but he did not play that second game against Grand Rapids as we see Derek Good Walton point. rattle one home. Has been a joy to watch and cover, and we hope that on his 22nd birthday, Diallo could play two for one. Marcus Thornton swirls one in for the tie. Motor City has come all the way back. And I'm more so impressed with how efficient he is. Five for seven from the field for Diallo. As on the other end, Jones fast and speedy down the floor for the bucket. He talked about it. RT Diakno seemed like he was more of a coach over there rather than a player. He's really active on the bench. As we see Diallo once again getting the ball in the paint and just going to work. And again, the pass over top to Diallo in transition. He's been the point of the evening. He's got four straight double doubles, working on another with six and four. Look away. Diallo runs the floor and is rewarded with the setup from Walton. Well, let's take another look at this corner three by Pickett. And once again, Motor City Cruise, Westchester Knicks. Walton, look away to pick it. He knocks down the triple. Had to exit the paint before he got called for three seconds. I mean, man, and three people collapse on him in the paint as we see. He's really been taking advantage of his minutes and been a bright spot for this Knicks ball club. The other way, Walton Jr. pushes pace to score. He's really been taking advantage of his minutes and been a bright spot for this Knicks ball club. The other way, Walton Jr. pushes pace to score. After Westchester surrendered a couple of buckets, they are they have scored four in a row and now back and forth we go.